I'm curious as to what's happening over here. I, I thought it was obvious. What game are you making right now? Nothing. <laughs> that sure doesn't look like Astroneer. I don't know what you're talking about. That looks like Vape Simulator 2018. <laughs> that was like more like, what, Vape Simulator 2014. Yeah. I'm going to steal Veronica's chair. It's a good idea. It's a good chair. Because I left my chair. Mm. Hi. Hi. What's up? Hello. Uh, thanks for allowing me to disturb your day. Yeah. To yeah, talk yeah. about this very exciting work. Um, I'm excited about it. Good. Uh, also, I think the power system has been pretty well received. <laughs> uh, yeah. I know it's a group effort, but I know it's also been kind of in your brain for a long time. Uh, yeah, we've been working on it. I mean, gosh, I don't even know what episode it was of the vlog that we showed it off for the first time. And it's gone through a lot of iterations since then. Yes. Um, and now we're here. And now we're here. And we're doing even more stuff with it. Showing off the new visualization. Yeah, new visualization for power. Uh, well, it's kind of what we wanted to do in the first place. We just didn't have time to finish it. Now we have, instead of the one weird, huge chevron, the nice little marching thing of chevrons. Nice. And... Uh, as you have multiple directional lines, it changes, it gets slower and skinnier as power gets split across these different power lines. Awesome. Um, but that's not all. This is a little test case. Um, there's a new item that I've been working on for the power system. Um, so I've set up a little um, uh, just sort of arrangement that would kind of show it off. Um, and also, um, I worked on some changes for the hotfix we put out. We got power flowing in. Um, you can see it getting split between these different platforms. And coming into this one, and how these sort of power sort of recombines here mm -hmm. as the platforms merge back together. And then uh, over here, this is a new a new thing. This is a splitter. Um, nice. Yeah. So it has a control panel. And um, you can plug and unplug cables into this. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's got three ports. Um, this is still a little bit in progress, but it's, it's functional at the moment. Um, and as you create line, uh, new connections, you've got power coming in here, you've got power going out there. And you can um, plug these. Uh, when you have three lines, plugged in, one in and two out. It enables the splitting behavior. And now, you see this battery is charging over here. Mm -hmm. You can see these are the, um, and I take these sliders and adjust them, and it adjusts how much power is split between the output lines. Nice. Yeah, so here we have all of it going down here. And so this battery has stopped charging, but then I can really quickly just adjust the slider and battery charges again. Um, and you can do any amount of power you want um, along these two lines. And uh, the numbers that you have here, this is how much power is coming in, an actual you know, power unit. Mm -hmm. um, and this is how much is going out. Um, so you can also kind of use this as like a, kind of a little bit of a multimeter um, to see how much power is going through a system if you want to. Got it, um, nice. Yeah. And uh, the uh, reason that you would want to do stuff like this is you can come up with some pretty, some pretty interesting setups. So I'm actually really excited for this because it, it adds a lot more kind of flexibility to how you set up the power systems. So we got like a rover here that is, oh no, it's not charged. And we're gonna uh, do, do, just plug it in and it's not charging. And so you could make a setup like this where you have a splitter and then like a, I don't know, like a vehicle charging bay. When you want your power to uh, go into the vehicles, all you have to do is flip that switch, the rubber charges up, and then whenever you're done, you just slide it back and that's it. Yeah. You don't have to mess with recabling things um, and it gives you a lot more flexibility in kind of how you route power around. So. It's a, it's a cool thing. Um, I'm really excited to, to get this in 
and it's going to be in the next update. Yeah, so, yeah. the next update. That's yeah. that's exciting. I think, um, yeah, it opens up so many possibilities, and it makes the existing power system just like more overall, just more robust. It gives you a lot more options, which is like pretty cool. Here, let me switch back to this mode now. Yeah, um, definitely. There is when we made this power system, we were. Uh, we were like, man, there's a lot we can do with this in the future. And adding stuff like these splitters was um, big on the list. And there's even more that we've talked about um, in, in terms of being able to modify the sort of power behavior. Uh, so it's it's exciting. Um, uh, I'm really glad that we'll be able to get this in players' hands so quickly and yeah. people be able to mess around with it. Um, one of my favorite things about our power system, too, is that like you can get really complex with it, yeah. but you also don't have to at all, ever. Right. Like, uh, yeah, in the in the beginning, all the power was strictly directional, like like this, where it would only flow one way, and um, we realized that made very trivial cases of of just like oh, you start the game and you have a generator and you have like a base platform that you want to power. Yeah, it made wiring those up really difficult. Like you had to think a lot about what you were doing, and you could very easily wire something up backwards and it just wouldn't work. Yeah. Um, and boy, we, we went through a lot of iterations trying to figure out a good way to, to get around that. And then finally we came up with this idea of having the hybrid model where you can have these standard connections between platforms that just combine all the power together mm -hmm. and um, anything can pull power from anything or charge to anything. And then these directional lines that give you directional power flow. And so you have these two layers that you can sort of interface with the system map. Um, and by combining the two in interesting ways, you can come up with, you know, all sorts of cool behaviors. Hi. No one man should have all that power. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Samantha. I was really hoping for like some extremely insightful <laughs> addition to the conversation. How this is that not insightful? <laughs> I think I just That's made an the vlog. Lesson on, yeah. on morality and ethics. Yeah. Okay, uh, fair also, enough. Also stardom, pop popularity. Um, yeah. Multimedia, uh, cash money, um, so space power, space flight, space land, space land. Come to my theme park, spaceland.com. Don't go to spaceland. No. Okay, now, <laughs> now, now we're. You getting... should have cut this off minutes ago. <laughs> no, now I'm just now you you have entered the room and now I'm not letting you leave. Uh, what we were saying, but uh, but maybe you can expand upon this, is that the power system is like has a high ceiling for complexity but also like you don't ever have to opt into that and you can just like totally do your own thing and not have to ever manage power like that simple to use hard to master yes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes like a fighting game yeah it's exactly like a fighting game <laughs> right this one's the um crouching fierce yes uh that one is the parry and that <laughs> one is the medium cancel into super sure you can yeah and this is like the, the cold wake up super, right? Oh, here. the cold wake up super. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. Um, that one's the, the tag team. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, go back and pop that up again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, because this is the dragon rush. Oh, and okay. that is the Kamehameha. <laughs> where's the tornado claw? There's a tornado claw right there. Yeah. Uh huh. And then, a, where's the, but, but you know what we forgot to add? We forgot to add the persistent barrage. How could we? Um, oh, and rushdown tactics. Those batteries are the rushdown tactics. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. I think we've taken this joke as far as we can possibly. <laughs> I think we took it a bit further than, it, than we could have realistically. <laughs> say, say that right into the camera. <laughs> Louder. Uh, Brendan's code is... Very well thought out. Um, Except don't, the multi tool. Don't fire me. Um, <laughs> oh, no. oh God. I conjecture that, or I, I hypothesize that uh, if you look at someone's code long enough and if you like work with them long enough, you can tell who wrote what code is what yeah. started this. And Elijah has started telling us the secrets of the code of how he can tell who wrote what. I think Please, code whisper. It is well architected and no comments, and the names are relatively short, then it's Brendan's. Yes. If the names are long, then it's EJ's. 
And if there's comments everywhere, then it's mine. What about Samantha? Mine are the, all the lines where the semicolons are clinging to the edge of the cliff, just trying to keep not from falling. Samantha's Clinging are the line. ones where the braces are on the same line. That's what I was going to say. I was like, my code's where the braces are on the same line. Right. I actually type them that way. It's just that tool that you installed on my computer. And it's like, it's like vertically stacked with like parentheses on the next line. That's just a beer. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So is it like oh, yeah. And if there's, if there's anything, any, any, sim, <laughs> any SIMD code is a beer. Yeah. What yes. about Aaron? What's Aaron's code? I'm morbidly curious and also afraid. Um, Andrew's code is like a bit more on this group. It's like a bit in between. Uh, yeah. Andrew's code is like a file that was last touched at 2 a.m. with brusque comments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. With like swearing in comments. Yeah. There's yes. always a sense that he was irritated Bru to have to be working on this. Brusque, either either brusque swearing in the comments commentary. or calling some other data structure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if there's something that, that calls it a, a data structure and a a name, particularly like a d that's 100% Andrew. Andrew, how do you respond to these claims? Uh, that last part seems pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs>